عامل زهر All right. So um, now we are going to open up the stage for open mic, and I have a few names up here on the list. Who would like to add their names to the list? Yes? No? Thought you were getting up to add your name oh, or yeah, you're leaving? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Anybody? So we'll start with Ali Al Arithi. Please come up. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. So these are from um, a collection I've been working on for the past year. Um, mostly focuses on mental health. But, um, here it goes. These are all the things I could have said. When I have so much to say, there's a voice in my head that says shut up. And for some reason, when the voice tells me to shut up, I can't help but stay silent because it wants me to anticipate the shit that e could easily come out of the ones that were part of my day. You know what else it says? You can do it. And when that voice says I can do it, I can stop the train, which is your thoughts, and I can easily pull the lever that could curve the flow of words into another direction because right now my time is worth it. I make it sound like I have multiple voices in my head, but it's only one, one distinct voice that I used because sometimes it's too quiet while I try to sleep. I like to pretend that I hear a roar of a fan in my face so I can feel alive. Seek help. Seek another voice, a comfortable, objective voice that can say all the words and all the resolve that I contemplated every time, 97 times actually, and I sit here and come up with all the reasons that I am the best therapist for myself. When I say I'm not crazy, I am not, and now you're thinking that I am because I'm using the word crazy and the words I am not in the same sentence with a hint of shrill in my voice and it shakes because I know you're judging me, judgment. When I say the word, I think of God with a sledgehammer instead of a gavel because it's dramatic that way, smashing the podium that is your perception that I used to declare my sanity and to defend myself from the voice that holds me back of what I am capable of. I am capable. Capable of so much that wonder is inescapable of the love that I hold back because I forget to give it to myself. I forget that existing in this body and realizing that it needs love too is enough. It's enough to grasp that being allowed to let myself breathe is my choice. I choose to breathe and when I exhale I will tell you all the things that I could have muttered when I never had the voice. Because it felt like my mind had a foot and that foot was forced on my vocal cords. Like my tongue split in half from constant razor sharp words that formed from my frustrations. And if you heard those words, they would have given you the deepest of wounds. And if I kissed you, my tongue would introduce you to a prison that you can never be free from. I could have said a lot of things. I kept them to myself because inflicting myself first makes me immune to the many, evil, many apples in Eden that I could have tasted when you presented the garden to me. And that voice is the last one that I hear before I sleep in the burial ground that is my bed, the burial ground where I leave my day behind. And when that voice says you did it, and in that dream I am suffocating and all I can do is watch myself. 